working on my new friends. Here's my mock setup so far. Pretty satisfied with it, but we'll see if I have to change it up a little bit on the day of. Good morning, it is 8 a.m. and it's market day. I just spent the last 30 minutes packing my car, as you can see, and I am sweating. You can probably tell I'm like glowing and my hair is already like gross. It's 75 degrees and it's gonna be 90. So that'll be fun <laughs> in the heat. I was planning to pack my car the night before because all the previous markets I've always packed the morning of, which is not a good idea because then I always feel like I'm in a rush. But I couldn't yesterday because we went to Elenium last night and we took my car. I haven't done a market in a little over a month now. So yeah, I'm excited to see if the new stuff I made will be popular. Let's find out. Let's go. Finished unpacking. Got coffee. Now it's time to set up, set up. Wow, this is a look. <laughs> you can literally see the beads of sweat dripping down. Oh my God, that's attractive. <sighs> it took me a full hour to take everything down. This was like the longest time it took me, probably because it's so hot. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> I feel so gross now. <laughs> it is time to go home and shower <laughs> and then I will give updates after. <laughs> I feel so much better now. <laughs> I'm home, I've showered, I've eaten, I finally feel like myself again. So let's recap how today's market went. Setup was at nine and I got there like right on time. I try to get to the location right around setup time just because um, with these markets that I've been doing with the same organizer, they assign spots at check-in. So obviously the earlier you get there, the more freedom you have to choose where you wanna be. Also, it takes me a good while to set up everything just because of how much stuff I have. So yeah, that's why I usually try to get there as soon as possible to set up. And I even made a few sales before I was even done. The very first sale of the day that I made was this little kid who wanted um, one of my capybaras. <laughs> so that was really cute. And I talked to his dad for a good while. Um, so that was a really cute sale. And then I had a few more even before the official start time. So that was really cool. It's really hard to gauge how successful a market will be for me based on foot traffic because there will be times where it's like super, super slow and like dead. And then all of a sudden I'll get a bunch of sales in like a few minutes. So within the first hour, I was getting a little nervous because it seemed like it was a little slow. But then by the time the market was halfway over, I was already making over a hundred an hour, which was really cool and really surprising. But like right after the halfway point, it was just so dead. Like my booth neighbor was just never at her booth for the rest of the time. If she saw that there were people that stopped by, she would go back and tend to her booth. But then if there was no one there, she was gone. I think the weather might've played a part in it. The forecast was sunny at first. Some great clouds came in and it was looking a little gloomy. And I was also getting nervous too because some of my stuff was outside of my canopy tent. So if it rained, some stuff was gonna get wet and I would have had to move some stuff and I would have had to rearrange some things, but only a few like fat raindrops fell and then that was it. So luckily no rain, but I think the gray clouds scared people. So after that halfway point, there was nobody, <laughs> so slow. I didn't get a single sale for almost an hour and then immediately after I got like five within the span of 20 minutes. So again, it's really hard for me to tell if a market will be successful until closer towards the end. The majority of my sales this time around were like one-off purchases. 
So a lot of people buying just like one item, which was a little uncommon compared to previous markets. I feel like most people would get like at least like two maybe, um, but like 95% of my sales today were just single item purchases. Um, but I did get a few that like got two and even one couple got four things, which was really sweet and very nice of them to buy so many of my things at once. For this market, I put a little bit more focus on making bigger items. So a lot of the inventory that I brought today were larger items that were priced a little bit higher. And as a result of that, I had less smaller, cheaper items. And in a way, I feel like that kind of hurt my sales because like the bigger things are obviously more expensive. But if the bigger things are what catches people's attention, like they're more inclined to want the larger item than the smaller ones. But then once they find out the price, then they kind of change their mind. I feel like if I had a few more options for cheaper items, I could have gained a few more sales. And as a result, maybe I could have even surpassed my most successful market to date with today because it was pretty close. But that's okay because now I have the bigger items that I don't have to worry about making again anytime soon. And this time around, I got a lot more reassurance about my pricing, which made me feel really good. Because at every market I've done, there's at least a few people that will see my stuff, see the prices I list them for, and then make some kind of negative comment about it. Which for one is kind of rude because the artist can value their work however they see fit. So if you want to pay that, you can. If you don't, then like walk away. Like why do you have to say something, you know? And two, it's just like unnecessary. Like if you're not going to buy it, then don't buy it. Why do you have to make a comment about it? <laughs> like if you don't value it at that price, then you're not the customer. So even today when some people saw the price for like some of my bigger items, they changed their mind really quick because of how much they saw it was worth. But then on the flip side, today especially, I had a lot more people look at my booth and say that my prices were very reasonable and like pr priced very appropriately. And that was just really validating that like, my art is worth what I think it is. And it shows, you know, like people buy it at that price. Um, it just, it, you just have to find the right person. It's just funny to me sometimes when like one minute I'll have someone that says my prices are way too high. And then the next minute I have someone buying like multiple things from me. So it's just funny seeing the polar opposites and what people value certain things, you know? <laughs> so for all you watching, if anyone comments about you pricing your items for what you think they're worth, just smile and nod and say thank you for your input, but you're not my customer. I'm not that comfortable recording in public yet, so all the footage from the market today was like me <laughs> in my booth basically, but it was so hot. Thank God I brought sunscreen, but honestly, I think I probably like got a small burn still. As you saw earlier, sweat was literally like dripping. It was so gross. I brought two fans, two. So overall, I feel like the market was pretty successful, for me at least. I honestly can't say for others because again, after that halfway point, it was like dead. I even heard like a few vendors talking and like discussing their sales and mentioning how it was like after 4th of July weekend and that could have played a part in it too. And honestly, that makes sense because people are traveling and the weather in Georgia is always unpredictable. The forecast for today had said it was sunny for a while and then only a couple days ago, the 50% thunderstorm showed up. The wind was annoying too. Luckily, my booth neighbor had painter's tape that she let me borrow. I was able to tape down my very flimsy, thin, laser cut like chalkboard signs. So overall, really good market day. It was really hot. And for next time, I'll remember to bring tape and have more variety for cheaper items. If you like this market vlog, can I even call it a vlog? <laughs> if you like this market video, feel free to like, and I can make more market vlog type videos. I have two more that I have signed up for coming up, but they're both in August, so I have a little time to prep, which is nice. So um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I am so tired. I was outside for 11 hours today. <laughs> Good night.